how many units do I have in this subject? Some of the inheritance is not supported by the C-Ash programming language. You will have two parts, part A and the part B. So delegate, I can call it, or I can compare it to a function pointer. Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to the very important and the first session with respect to the .NET programming. My dear students, you are in the last semester of BCA. Yes, I will help you to learn something very interesting and helpful for all of you in this semester. So that's going to be the .NET programming. Most of you are doing your project, right? So guys, this is a one of the subject which will help you to develop your projects. So guys, without wasting much of your time, let me get into the session. What is that I have in this session and what is that I'm going to discuss? Yes, I will be discussing the prerequisites. So what are the prerequisites that I should have? What is the meaning of it? So what I should know before I start this subject. So that is what I will call it as a prerequisites. So that is the first thing which I'll be discussing in this session. Moving forward, the second one is learning outcome. So once I'm done with this subject, so what is that I will have with me? So that is what I will call it as a learning outcome. So that is the second thing which I'm going to discuss in this session. So the third important thing, that's going to be the units. How many units do I have in this subject? And in each unit, what is that I'm going to learn? That is what I will be discussing in the third point. When it comes to the fourth point, so remember, I will be discussing about your internals. So, since we are in the last semester, do we have the internals? A lot of questions like this. Yes, of course, you have the internals for this subject. So, how exactly, how many internals, all those things, I'll be discussing with all of you. And more importantly, the question paper pattern. How exactly you will be getting the question paper pattern is what I will be discussing in the fifth point the last point do i have the lab for this subject so yes i will answer at the end so let's get into this so prerequisites a beautiful uh, you know leaves that i have here what is that you are able to see yes guys it's a zero you don't have to have anything okay even if you don't know anything sir i have not studied in the last five semester anything if you say this i'm okay for it okay so, but this subject, it's going to be very, very important. I will be discussing this from the scratch, from the basics, okay? So, even if you don't know anything, you don't have to worry, you don't have to be panicked. But if you know some of the basic uh, concepts of programming, so then uh, it's, it's going to be very easy for you. So, that's what I would like to tell you with respect to the prerequisites. Learning outcome. Once I'm done with this uh, language, you will have a complete better knowledge with respect to the C ash. So what is C ash? Okay, what is .NET programming? So we also call it as a C ash. So .NET programming is one of the powerful programming language which will help me to develop the applications. So guys, so once you're done with the subject, you will be able to develop an individual application. So that knowledge you will have once you are done, okay? That is what the learning outcome that you will have. Sir, can you please uh, speak specifically what is that I'm going to learn? Yes, I will be discussing unit wise. In the first unit, so you will be learning the introduction to the programming language. So I would like to call it as a basics of a programming language. That is what you will be learning in the first unit. Sir, can you, can you be a little more specific? Yes. Guys, you would have studied in Java, you would have studied in C programming, you would have studied in C++. What is constant? What is variable? So what is data types? What is for loop? What is if statements? What is while loop? Are different types of while loops and different types of if statements? What is arrays? What is strings? All these things you will be studying in the first unit. That is what I will call it as an introduction. So fine, moving forward in the second unit, you will be getting introduced to one of the important topic that is going to be the inheritance. So probably you would have uh, you know, uh, heard about inheritance whenever you are studying the object-oriented programming language. This is one of the feature 
that we have in the object oriented programming language. Inheriting the property from the base class to the subclass is what I will be calling it as a inheritance. Along with that, you will also learn what is polymorphism and also you will learn about the interfaces. So guys, when I talk about interfaces, so there will be no implementation. So that is what you need to understand as of now. All right. So even about the interface also, you will be learning. Sir, when it comes to the inheritance, C Ash will not support some of the inheritance. So I will not tell what is that. So if you know that, please comment in the comment box. So some of the inheritance is not supported by the C Ash programming language. So for that reason, we are implementing the concept called interfaces. And how are we doing with it? So what is that we are going to learn? So let me discuss this in detail when I'm discussing the second unit. And also I will be discussing the operator overloading. I have an operator. Say for example, I have a plus. So what is the meaning of operator? If I change the meaning of that particular operator, that operation is what I will call it as a operator overloading. So I will be discussing again in detail with respect to this operator overloading in the second unit. That's what you need to remember. This is what you will be learning in the second unit. Hope you are finding it easy. So guys, if you're not, I will make it easy for all of you. And the third unit, when it comes to the third unit, guys, probably you will be seeing, you know, something new in this delegates. What exactly delegates is all about? Guys, uh, it's a, I can, I can just compare it to a function pointer. So probably you, you, you can, uh, Try to recollect what we have discussed in the previous programming language classes. We have something called a pointer. What is pointer? A variable which holds the address of another variable is what I will call it as a pointer. So fine, when it comes to the delegate, so delegate I can call it or I can compare it to a function pointer. How exactly it works? So I will be discussing that with all of you in detail. Say for example, I have to go to a function, okay? So I cannot attend that function instead of me, I will send my parents to attend. So my parents is the delegates there. So hope you understood this concept. I will be discussing this in detail, so you don't have to worry. And along with that, so the next important topic is managing errors and exceptions. Whenever you, uh, you guys are reading the Java, you would have come across with this concept, managing errors and exceptions. So we are going to deal with the different types of input output exceptions. So guys, what type of exceptions do we have? How many types of exceptions do we have? So when do I get the exceptions? How do I handle the exceptions? All those things I will be discussing in this topic. Moving forward to the next one, introducing a Windows form. This is going to be very, very important for the people, those who are starting their project by using the .NET as a programming language. So how do I design my interface? Probably, you know, you guys are uh, started designing your website, okay? Say for example, this is one of my web page that I have. So how do I design it? So where do I place my text? Where do I place my form? How do I place my radio button? How do I place my text boxes? How do I use the button? So how do I link one web page to another web page? So all those things I will be discussing in this particular part. So fine, you have designed everything. This is what you will be calling it as a front end. Then from where do I get the data, sir? Yes, I have the database. I have stored the database. Now I need to connect this front end with the database to exchange the data or to store the data. How do I do it? So with the help of this concept, I will be able to establish the connection between the database as well as the front end interface. That's what you need to remember. So this is what I will be discussing in the fourth unit. So guys, this is the learning outcome from this subject. So fine. So I think you all know about the internals. You will have three internals. So you have uh, 20 marks for each internals. I think all of you will be knowing it. So let me not waste my time on this. 
moving forward the paper pattern the question paper pattern it remains same you will have two parts part a and the part b the part a will have 10 questions again each question carries two marks but when it comes to the part b my dear students you will have four questions each question carries 15 marks when it comes to the 15 marks you need to understand Sir, do I get only one question for 15 marks? No, you can expect the splits between 8 and 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. Sir, then will I not have any splits in this 8 and 7? Of course, you can expect the split. Guys, I can have 4 plus 4 or I can also have 5 plus 3. Any split you can expect for the questions. So this is going to be the question paper pattern. But... When it comes to the lab, do I have the lab for this subject? So this is an elective that we have chosen. No, you don't have to have or you don't have to study or you don't have the lab practicals whenever you are studying this subject. So guys, I think you have a fair idea about the .NET programming by now. So I think it's uh, time for all of us to take off this subject. So keep waiting for my first session on this subject and share it with all your friends help each other and uh, stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.